So, look at what they gave us. They gave us the velocity right here. Uh, so it's traveling at a velocity of 24 meters per second. It begins to slow down, and it's decreasing uh, by negative 6. So how are we going to find this? How are we going to find the velocity at any time? Now that's a function. That's not, you can't just write 24 meters per second because that's how fast it's going right at the start of our problem. So how would we find V of T? Now think of V of T like it's uh, F prime, right? Because isn't F prime slope? So let's not think of V right now. Let's just go, oh, we're going to find F prime of T. That's what we're looking for. Well, if that's F prime, uh, this right here is your deceleration. It's, it's actually the same as acceleration, just the opposite, right? What would that one be? Acceleration is the double derivative, right? So F double prime, actually, we're, we're supposed to write like A of T for acceleration, but it's easier to understand the first time around by saying it's F double prime. F double prime of T equals negative 6. So if you were to take um, the antiderivative of this, how would you do it? No problem, right? Negative 6x. You've got to picture this like it has an x to the 0 power. So you would add 1 to the, to the 0, so you get x to the 1, and then you divide by 1, um, which we don't need to do because it's just the same thing. But I'm forgetting something. When you do the antiderivative, what else are you supposed to have? Plus c. Plus c. Okay, but it wants some... Um, it wants what velocity is. That's our f prime right now. Um, is there a way for us, like, is there a point we could plug in? Like, do we know a point on this velocity graph? Uh, t equals zero. T equals yes, right here. A t equals zero. Oh, dang it. I put an x there instead of a t. Oh, I did it right there, too. Nobody caught that? Come on. All right. Yeah. I, I like x is better. Yeah. So t, t. Okay. <laughs> t equals zero. Right there. And how fast are we going at t equals 0? Bam. OK, so we can go 24 equals negative 6 times 0 plus c. So c equals 24. And some of you guys would probably be able to figure that out without doing that work. But it's, it's cool to see the math that goes along with it. So f prime, or v, of t, our velocity function, is going to be negative 6 of t, uh, times t plus 24. Alright, so that's the answer to the first part. The second part says the distance traveled, or find the distance traveled before the car comes to a halt. Alright, so if we took the derivative of this one more time, like if we took the derivative of f prime, or I'm sorry, the antiderivative of it, we would get f. f is normally known as your position function. It tells you where you're at, also known as distance. So we take the antiderivative again, and we'll find uh, the position function. So if I take the antiderivative of this again, that would give me uh, negative 6t raised to the 2 power, because we have to add 1 to the exponent. And we divide that by 2, plus 24t plus c. This is your f. It's your f or your position function. Uh, so you can write f, or you can say p of x. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't give us a notation for it. Um, simplify, we get p of x equals negative 3t squared plus 24t plus c. Now, how am I going to find that c? Do I know the position? How do we know? Okay, we're trying to find... Um, the distance traveled. Ah, oh, dang it, I put an x there again. Okay, instead of, um, if we wanted to find the distance traveled, we have to know t. Right now, I don't know what t is. What's that? Oh, wait, but then also, we didn't find c yet. How are we going to find that c? Um, I know, I know. There's, there's a point that is really like hidden underneath the surface here. Do you guys know the position of this car at time t, or time equals zero? Yeah. What would the distance be at time equals zero? zero. It'd be zero. So let's plug in zero, zero. If 
we plug in 0, 0, that's just going to be 0 equals, well, I plug in 0 there, that would be 0. I plug in 0 here, that would be 0. What would um, C equal? Just 0. So our position function is P of T equals negative 36 T squared. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, I'm sorry. It's really small. Oh, it's just negative 3 T squared plus 24 squared, or T, and that's it. We need to know what T is. So is there something we can use in this problem to help us find out what T is? Now, T, we need to know, like, when it stops. So what, how fast are you guys going when you stop? Zero. Zero. So what can I plug in right here to find T? Yeah, we could plug zero into that. So I plug zero into my speed function since I know I'm going zero miles per hour when I stop and I solve it. When I subtract 24 from both sides, I get this. I divide both sides by negative six. I'm going to get T equals four. So it takes four seconds for it to come to a stop. And I plug in four there, right there, and right there. So I get negative three times 16 plus 24 times 4 is 96. Is that right? I think so, yes. And so what do I get? What does that answer? That would be 48. Negative 48 plus 96, which equals 48. 48 meters is how far it goes.